Dr. Alison Parkin, a lecturer at the University of York, collects seawater in Whitby Harbor in northern England. Back in her lab, the technicians filter the water, pour it into a dish, insert electrodes made of graphite, and start electrolysis. We found that when we wrapped this in aluminium, what we could manage to do is we could pull the carbon dioxide from out of a gas mixture into um, sodium chloride or seawater solution and make um, a white solid which is then stored carbon. And what we've realized is that this is a really energy efficient and hopefully highly scalable method of managing to trap carbon dioxide. Atoms of aluminum pieces floating in seawater bind with carbon dioxide molecules. When the water is poured off, what is left is a white sludge containing a mineral called dawsonite, rich in CO2. Scientists say aluminum could come from collected metal waste. If you look at the amounts of aluminium and iron which are not recycled every year, then you're looking at tens of millions of tons of aluminium. But the process also requires energy. North offers this solution. Sunlight to provide the electricity or a wind turbine, some renewable source of, of electricity, is all you need to make the technology go. Another byproduct of this process is hydrogen, useful for fuel cells that already power some electric vehicles. Researchers say an industrial sized facility could mineralize as much as 850 tons of CO2 annually. George Putich, VOA News.